promise I'm usually a much more charming guy. It's just... Well, these are odd circumstances. I'm sorry, this... This is not working for me. I'm sorry, uh, I have not been a very good host. Let me make that up to you. <laughs> Stop moving! I'm sorry. What I meant to say before that terribly rude outburst, would you be so kind, remain as still as possible, so that I can remove this sticky obtrusion from over your mouth, and we can have a much more civilized conversation. That's much better. <sighs> so where were we? Right. You were just about to tell me where my money is. <laughs> I, I gave you everything. I already told you everything. Arnold? Can I call you Arnie? You kind of look like an Arnie. You got... Yeah. You got one of those Arnie chins. Arnie? I think we've progressed to a point in our relationship where we can determine a few certainties. For instance, tonight, I'm gonna go home and make a sandwich. Stop. Clean corned beef, Dusseldorf mustard, Swiss cheese. I'm gonna stuff that in between two slices of rye bread. Be still. Be still. I'm gonna have a Mr. Pibb soda. Now, it's not that I don't like Dr. Pepper, because I do. It's just that the convenience store I went to had Mr. Pibb on sale. Wait. What are you thinking? Please. I don't know anything. I told you everything. Please, just, just, just let me go. Just let me go. Now, since Mr. Pibb pays me, very similar to Dr. Pepper, and since I'm a practical guy, I chose to purchase Mr. Pip. It was only a handful of pennies less, but in this economy, every little bit counts. Oh, hell, now you got me thinking about Dr. Pepper. I mean, I think I deserve a few luxuries in life, don't you? No? Anyway, the point of the story is, Mr. Pibb is the only real uncertainty of this evening. Here there are none. I'm going to torture you until you die. Yeah. Or you can tell me where my money is and we can all just go home. Mr. Pibb or Dr. Pepper? Mr. Pibb or Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Arnie, Arnie, relax. One's only slightly more expensive than the other. No need to cause a fuss over. I swear. I didn't think it was going to come to this. But 
but you haven't left me with many other choices. <laughs> I mean, sure, I could go on all night long torturing you. <laughs> I could, but where would that get us? Well, I don't know about you, but it would make me very upset. But we're missing out on my sandwich with lean corned beef, Dusseldorf mustard, Swiss cheese, <laughs> and rye bread. So, I've taken some steps toward avoiding such an occasion. What did I do? Why, I did what is necessary. Now I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where's my fucking money? It's at the train station. Locker 147. The keys in my shoe. See? That was easy, wasn't it? Thank you, Marty. Thank you. You have made me very happy. In fact, you've made me so happy, I'm gonna stop at that convenience store and buy myself a nice cold Dr. Pepper. However, I wasn't sure how effective just one roll would be. I'm sorry if I went a little too far. No! 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 Goodbye,